All right, how's it going everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. Hopefully uh, you guys can get to see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a little, uh, it's a little Western thing. Let's see. I'm painting on a 12 by 16 inches canvas. Mm. Baby, I got my Starbucks on. Yeah. All right. This is a 12 by 16 inches. And uh, let me show you my palette because that way you guys can see uh, it's a bit messy. I like to keep it that way. It's part of a... Uh, <laughs> so here we go. This is very direct. I'm not very concerned with oh by the way I'm painting some courses. Not very, I'm not very concerned with with much of anything at this moment, other than than um, just a bit of a doodle to get the, to get things in their place. Okay. That's really all I care about at this moment. Color and all of those things are not much of my interest right now. This is, this is how I like to tackle um, this type of stuff sometimes. Okay. This is oil on canvas, of course. I will also show you guys some of the stuff that I do on acrylic on other videos, but for now it's oil on canvas. And also what I've noticed is that if I don't, if I'm not very concerned on other stuff, I actually get the freedom to uh, play with tone and, and uh, something else comes in, no? As I mentioned in other videos, something more uh, colorist tends to come in. The thing is that we, if, if I only concern myself with certain things, uh, I may miss out on that. So I really sacrifice, kind of bite the bullet per se, and, uh, and be okay with, with um, an unorthodox approach. Because it's extremely fast and it's very unorthodox to do things this way, you know. Uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Artwork by Mari. I, I appreciate it. Artwork by Mari says, Hi, Jose. I love your demos and your artist insights. Uh, Lori says, are you painting a bird? <laughs> I like that. Hey, you know, everybody sees what they see. <laughs> Here I am thinking I'm doing something, something, and, and you know, someone else is something else. So. But it is, you know, it is, it is, uh, it is not a uh, very, uh, traditional way of doing things, right? It's definitely not. 
and I think that that's what I, what's what makes painting so interesting is that if you allow it to be, you start actually weaving different stuff. You know, I call it weaving. If you just allow it to be, uh, other things start coming in. The problem is that we, we don't allow it to be and 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 we want it we want to control. Of course you'll paint something pretty, you'll paint something nice, right? But but you may be missing on something else. You know? And I sacrificed taking my time for to to find something else. You know, when I'm painting I wanna find something else. Thank you so much, T Boris25. T Boris25 says, uh, learn a lot from watching your work. Uh, watching you work. And Lauraville says, I love your colors. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And it's a very simple, no? The, the, here the, the key is simplicity because and, and I'm and I'm not talking about simplicity as in as in it could mean different things, right? It could mean you don't get stuck on one thing. It could mean... The moment that I start getting stuck on one thing, I, I, I lose track of, of, of simplicity. And that's why it's very important for me to keep moving. Even though the face is, you know, is, is more abstract, or this is more abstract, the back is more abstract, whatever, I need, to, I need to keep moving. Because it's in the movement that I find the, the, the next step. I'm only looking for the next step. I'm only looking for the next step, the next step, and the next step, and the next step. When I paint, I I am really just looking for the next step. What is the next step? You know, and let's paint another one back here. Just a sort of a more. even more abstracted because it's in the back. Oh yeah, guys, if, if, if you can't see uh, the, I may be uploading this to YouTube, I'm not sure. If you can't see it, uh, if you're watching it from YouTube later on, or if you're watching it right now, try to put it sideways. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it to YouTube yet, because uh, um, I know some, some people on YouTube don't, don't like it when I put it sideways or when I use the Instagram. But, you know, I have to do it sometimes, because this is the chance that I get to do it live. I'm getting busy. <laughs> I'm getting busy. <laughs> so, you know, let's put a saddle there too. The guy has to have a saddle right here too. You know. And on that note, I'm going to start doing a bit of, a very little bit of highlight, okay? I don't want it to create too much highlight. Uh, I may, because I don't want it to, to, to divert from the hole. Sometimes uh, in creating too much highlight, 
we can divert the painting from the hole. Sometimes I do that. I'm guilty of doing that. I get carried away and I'm like, oh yeah, you know. So I'm gonna do some some land. Okay. And this is sort of quote unquote dirty colors, okay, muddy colors. Um, but I like using them that way. They, I, I find that if I don't pay much attention, this is one of the very first things I started talking about when I was in uh, doing the videos early on on YouTube, is if, if you are concerned with every step of the way, you're painting by numbers. But if you're, if you're not concerned with it, then you're actually painting, even, even if things quote unquote don't look right. You know, even if they don't look right, just keep digging and it will come out. Because you're going beyond, at least this is what I'm trying to, uh, the demo I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to say that I'm going beyond um, just the form, okay? Of course, we need some grass and we need something dark happening back here so that we can create the illusion of distance and uh, Something like that, no? A little bit of yellow and a little bit of magenta to make this dusty green back here. Ooh la la! <laughs> Something like that. And then of course, right, there is a distance And here, uh, not all is gray, not all is muddy colors. Here I can actually get a little bit more happy colorist in certain parts, right? So that it's not all um, There we go. <clears throat> and I can even go very, very um, light in the sky. Since my brush is already kind of dirty, quote unquote, I'm just going to use white. Because whatever access is in the brush uh, will help me achieve my goal. Remember guys, I'm only looking for the next step. What is the next step? At this point I can get a little bit more funsicles with the the colorism of the work. This will help not only bring attention to certain parts, 
but it will also um, reestablish the line work. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lil. And these are two horses, of course, abstract, right? It's an abstract sort of impressionist, expressionist, Faust. You can put any ism you want in there, but this is what's uh, what's happening here in the art studio. And of course you can, at this point, you can play with different greens, right? Because the desert or the rugged area, areas are, have uh, different greens, you know, not all greens are the same, they have different greens. So different things happening. I'm trying to paint an impression between what's in my mind and what's actually happening. You know, between this. That's really the, the, the whole point of my artwork is that I'm trying to, I'm trying to marry what's in my mind and what's, you know, what's real. What's real, what is in my mind and what is actually happening. I'm gonna show you guys right now the end product, of course. I go back with a small brush, okay? And this is only to create certain um, areas that I believe that will help bring out certain parts of the painting again. I use black for that reason. I use color for that reason. And rather than sign it with black, I'm gonna sign it with red. Just because there's hardly any red. The reason why a lot of artists like to use red in, 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 in uh, nature, wilderness, or whatever you wanna call it, is because there's hardly any there. And that's why when you use red, it really pops. You know, there's lots of greens, there's lots of browns. Absolutely, Lori, I'll, I'll be sure to post it. Thank you so much. How's it going, uh, uh, 90s fiction? I've been painting for over 20 years and uh, just doing different stuff. I started doing portrait artwork and then, you know, moved on to, to hyper-realistic work and then moved on to sort of impressionistic work and now I'm doing this sort of deals. <laughs> this genesis <je ne> quas. <laughs> I'm doing this kind of stuff now, and I just really enjoy it. You know, it brings so much, so much happiness in my little heart. And you know, it's 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 a little it's it's a little intimidating. It's a little you know I, I have to somewhat be a little bit brave because my natural inclination is to be. Uh, thank you so much, Lori. Lori says very inspired by the freedom. That's exactly it. My, my natural intonation is to be more rigid, to be more, to take my time, to be, but then, then if I do that, I'd be painting like, like, you know, like many other artists. And, and I don't have a problem with that. It's just that I want my own, you know, I want to be able to carve my own, my own, uh, uh, my own way. This does not mean that I have to be extremely unique. It's just that I, I just, you know, I, I want to put my own spin in it, you know, and this is how I do it. So there you guys have it. A couple of a couple of horses. If you can see them um, in uh, just hanging out, you know, hanging out. This one's got a saddle right there. Let's uh, let's make it uh, even a bit more more vaquero. Let's put a, a rope right here. There you go. Okay. Why not? So there you guys have it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. I will be posting this uh, 
on my Instagram wall. And this will go for auction on eBay. The auction started at 99 cents, guys. If you guys uh, really uh, want to shout out it, go check it out. I'll have a, well, I can't put a link below here, but but uh, you'll see a link on my on my Instagram wall. So check it out. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. Till next time.